You guys ask all the time, when are you gonna do the M70? Today's that day. Before we get too deep into this video, I wanna thank a very generous guy, uh, Vladimir. Very cool uh, buddy of mine that I just met at a local match, Texas Kalashnikov. He answered the call I put out on Instagram that I needed to borrow one of these. I really needed to get one of these on film, one of these Z-Paps, and he answered. And not only did he answer, he let us play with one brand new in box. This has not even been fired. I, before I even started getting this camera set up, I have not fired this. All I did was swab the bore and uh, give the internals a look. Everything looks great. He's letting us shoot a brand new gun on camera. Thank you very much, sir. It's much appreciated. And uh, we're going to let him shoot some machine guns eventually to uh, tag him back on this one. So uh, we'll get him back. Shameless plug, if you want to support the channel, we don't do Patreon or any of that gimme money stuff. I want you to get something for your cash, and in turn, you're helping me out. These videos are very expensive to make sometimes. We sell very cool third pin threads merch, outline hats, various AKs, and uh, we have some brand new outline t-shirts coming. They'll be available in a few weeks. Those are going to blow your balls off. Anyway, guys, that's how you support us if you want to, but uh, thanks for watching anyway. Let's get back to it. So out of the box, very impressed. Finish is nice. There's no bluing salts coming out of anywhere that... Used to be an issue with the older guns, but now that Zestava is bringing these things in themselves, you can definitely see there is a change. And one of the biggest changes is the furniture on these things. They completely changed the geometry of the buttstock compared to, you know, military surplus Yugoslavian AK buttstocks. The, the, the stock is a completely different shape. This is more of like an AKM shape that we're used to on, you know, what you're probably used to on wasters, things like that. This is a very AKM style buttstock, but it still mounts uh, into a Yugo receiver. You're used to seeing laminate on an AK. Laminate is layers of wood glued together, shaved to a form, and then like shellacked and sealed. That's a very durable way to put wood on a gun. Since you have layers of wood, if you develop a crack, it cracks until that layer is done and then it stops on the next layer. A solid piece of wood, cracks can travel, but I haven't seen them crack for other people. so. Seems like it's doing good, but visually, it's pretty stunning. This is a beautiful AK out of the box. Absolutely beautiful. They've got an all new pistol grip. You know, usually we're used to the plastic, you know, military style pistol grips that you're used to seeing on Yugos. Uh, I've got some of those in a parts bin. No cleaning kit, no hole in the stock. It's fine. No bayonet lug, no provisions for the uh, cleaning kit, but we do have an optic mount. So we can put a rail on, which we will in this video. And remember, you guys have proprietary rails. You can't just take any other mount for an AKM and put it on here. It's not going to work. Trigger feels really good out of the box. The bolt and carrier, it's, uh, it's in the white. And we'll just give this a bit of a feel. Very smooth. Now, truth be told, the safety was extremely difficult out of the box. Uh, in fact, when Vladimir dropped this thing off to me, he's like, that safety, it, it almost takes a tool to manipulate. So all we did was bend it up and away from the receiver. Now it's like butter. Vladimir, when you get this thing back, you're not going to replace the safety. I dare you to replace the safety. It feels great. It's interesting, too, that the sight leaf is actually kind of left in the white, and the finish is down there in the numbers and these lines here, so they really pop when you go to adjust it. Pretty cool. does come with a cleaning rod. An AK does not look like an AK you want that standard look without a cleaning rod fight me on that they just got to have them and of course it comes with a standard slant this one actually has two notches the slant kind of goes to one side and if we depress it you can actually lock it into kit gas is the other direction as a right-handed shooter we'll put it back the way we had it it's kind of neat these newer ones actually have chrome line cold hammer forge barrels. Zestava for the longest time was not chrome lining 762 barrels. They were chrome lining their 556 barrels, but those variants were really rare and they never came in the country much. It's got everything you want. Thick barrel, cold hammer forge, chrome line, and that receiver and that trunnion, man. Bulged trunnion and receiver, very overbuilt. And my favorite little feature to these things, depress the push button. See how it actually holds your recoil spring? Dust cover comes right off. You can set it right back down. Push the button. Boom. 
dust cover came off, dust cover came on. How many of you waste too much time smacking these things back in place? It makes taking it on and off way easier for us dum-dums. Really neat feature. It's pretty stacked with stuff, and at the price, these things are coming in like a thousand bucks, you know, above or below that. That's a lot of gun for that money. So enough gabbing. Let's go ahead and load this thing up and take our very first shots with it. First shots ever. Wow. Okay, right off the bat, this thing might be a little under gassed because my casings are flying eight feet away. Most AKs send them like 20 feet away and the recoil is extremely mild. Starting to go a little farther. Wow. I can't stress how mild that recoil is. I'm kind of blown away. That's with a standard muzzle device. And the standard trigger. Man, that trigger feels good. Just watching the casings. Let's let her rip. Yeah, that bolt feels slow. Bolt definitely feels a little slow. So, a uh, little under gassed. It's, it's clear as day, a little under gassed, which is not a bad thing. All right, let's do 10 rounds as fast as we possibly can with a very cool bake light. Tried a lot of mags in this thing back at the house, and I could not find a single mag that would not rock and lock into this thing, but bake lights are the best. Fight me. Kept up that time. I didn't try to go as fast as I possibly could. But that was a really nice cadence. Damn, the recoil is low. Very low. I can't wait to tune this thing up, which is coming in another video. We're going to just deck this thing out. But out of the box, man, this thing shoots so nice. We got some glass. Uh, instead of shooting into dirt, why don't we go do a little course of fire now that we have a force multiplier here. Oh, yeah. See how this thing handles if we try to run it quickly. couple things. Mag release is very stout. Got some pretty good spring pressure on it, so kicking the mags out is not as easy as I would like. Really nice cheek weld. Nothing to complain about there. It's nice. With an RS regulate mount and uh, whatever red dot you choose, nice clean sight picture. Just so you can see what I'm seeing, I'll roll that across the screen now. You can see it sets a pretty good ways over the front sight post so you're not just staring at a lot of sight post and dot very nice sight picture big open clean field of view really nice Ooh, i gotta rip that mag out with like everything i have that mag latch is so tight good I just had to keep going with it that reload felt good for a stock trigger stock gas stock muzzle device this thing shoots so damn soft and smooth I can't get over that we've established that it is uh, it's gassed a little lower than most AKs so here's the question I brought a suppressor and I brought subsonic ammo will it run I sure hope so dead air Wolverine come on Standard AKs look so sexy with a PBS-1 Wolverine. So stinking sexy. 
if it works with this gun, that's just another feather in its cap because this gun has been awesome so far. Now, because it's a little under gas from what I'm feeling, I'm worried that it's mm, gonna short stroke. If it doesn't though, this might be the crowning champion for the softest shooting subsonic gun. Right now, the Galil Ace Gen 2 with a Wolfman suppressor is by far the softest gun I've ever felt shooting subsonic. Let's see what this one feels like. It might not even work. Y'all know when we bring out the Russian aluminum tanker waffle, Bad Element Co. Custom, it's always got subs in it. It's a little tight. Ooh. Come on. Come on. That looks good. Okay. No ears. Dude. Ears are not ringing. That felt good. They're barely puking out. I think if I shoot really fast, it probably can't keep up, but holy crap. That is softer than an AR. That feels like a pellet gun, like an air rifle. Holy crap. God, that's good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is just so stinking cool. This gun, like a standard AK with a Wolverine with subsonic, is just as, it's just as good as it gets. Damn, that's good. All right, I've got like 18 more rounds. We'll go a bit slower with those, but wow we! If you have not shot subsonic through an AK, I highly recommend it. It'll change your life. Damn, damn, that's good. Yes. Give this okay. That's how soft. Man, there's nothing like that. God, I don't really like to do this on many AKs because they're so overgassed that it just feels like they beat themselves up. But five rounds, full power. Because this gun feels a little undergassed, I'm actually curious if it's not too crazy with a can on it for full power. Let's see. Okay, that casing went like 30 feet, but it didn't feel bad. Let's finish off the four. Gassy. Not near as uh, nice to shoot, but I will say, compared to other AKs without tunable gas, way more bearable with full power ammo. Very nice. This gun's getting good. All this for about a thousand bucks. It's uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Man, it's pretty unbelievable that they're selling this thing for what they are. So let's think about it for a second. What, what, what else is on the market right now? You've got some American AKs. So the K103 is hovering around like 1100 bucks. Some of the PSA AKs are like around 900 to 1000 maybe a little bit more. Uh, what else do you have? You've got some like Sentry Arms Viscas. I think they're actually probably the cheapest AK option brand new today. Uh, what else? You got like Sam 7, some of the arsenals coming in. Those are, you know, $1,500, $1,600, and they are amazing guns, but substantially more expensive than this. Street price on these, let's say you can get them for about a grand, right? This right here. Heavy barrel, chrome lined, cold hammer forged, really nice furniture from the get go. Tons of accessories exist for these things. It is a fallacy when people say that the only thing holding back Yugo Pattern AKs is the aftermarket support. That was true maybe like five years ago. Dude. Everyone's making things for these. Even though RS Regulate, who we have right here, is having a hard time keeping up right now, even he is making rails for these things, optics for these things, SLR Rifle Works is making rails for this, these things, TDI is making very popular lower handguard M-lock rails for these. Any muzzle brake that fits on an AKM will fit on this. It's 14 by one. ALG triggers, those are all available. Kreb safeties, available stock sets. You can do just about anything to these things. So what's stopping you from paying $1,000 and having probably one of the last great imports that we're ever going to get in this country? If I was going to panic buy an AK, it's probably going to be this one. It's hard not to at the price, especially with everything I did today. Pretty nice. Now to back up my claims on the aftermarket support, stay tuned because the next video on this guy, we're going to pimp it out. All kinds of aftermarket accessories and I'll show you just how capable these things are when you juice them up a little bit. 
and uh, we may even take it to a match and see what it does on the clock. But that's for a later video. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Give us a subscription, you know, comment down below, like or not, doesn't matter. But if you want to help out the channel, go buy Third Pin Threads. We don't have many of these hats left. There is like a major shortage on Richardson snapbacks because of the virus. So once these sell out, we're, we're on a waiting list to get them restocked. But we have some brand new t-shirts coming very soon that are going to blow your balls off. All those links are down below. I don't want your money. I don't want Patreon. I want you to have some cool AK swag. And come on out to Kalash Bash. There's still very few tickets available. I'll put all those links down below. We'll see you next time. make love to a gun, it would probably be an AK. Pretty sure it would be.